I Am Surviving Vegan has just figured out how we all did it wrong. We all did it wrong because we had fruits and veggies together in a smoothie. The body works in a systematic and cyclic way. Digestion is a sequence. Sounds so smart. Systematic and cyclic. Sequence of events or chain reaction. So no, you cannot just pair food together because of how it tastes. You cannot pair grapes with spinach or apples and spinach and kale. No, that's incorrect. Your digestive system will only process one thing at a time. Putting pineapple juice in green. Your digestive system will only process one thing at a time. Why haven't humans died off yet? Because they're all eating meals with mixed foods all together. Greens in the smoothie together will cause the greens to ferment, a.k.a. rot. The pineapple juice is going to get digested first because it's high in glucose, a.k.a. the body's first choice for energy, causing everything else to rot while it waits for it to be digested. The body works. So I went on Google to read about this because I'd never heard of this before. And there's actually an article on Healthline. And obviously most of the things that this lady talks about is just whenever you find a legitimate website talking about it. They talk about how it's a theory and it's like not proven, but they actually have a section in food combining called on food fermenting in the stomach. And I'm going to read it to you. One of the most common supposed effects of improper food combining is that food ferments or putrefies in your stomach. Supposedly, when a fast digesting food is combined with a slow digesting food, the fast digesting food stays in your stomach so long that it begins to ferment. However, this does not happen. Fermentation and rotting occur when microorganisms start to digest your food. But, as mentioned earlier, your stomach maintains such an acidic pH that almost no bacteria can survive. There is one place in your digestive tract where bacteria thrive and fermentation does occur. That is in your large intestine, also known as your colon, where trillions of beneficial bacteria live. The bacteria in your large intestine ferment any undigested carbs, such as fiber, and release gas in beneficial short-term... Short-term... <laughs> short chain fatty acids as waste products in this case fermentation is actually a good thing let me just interject here and say that any fatty acids and things that you're getting out of fermentation of fiber is very 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 minimal because you are not a gorilla let me keep reading the fatty acids the bacteria produce have been linked to health benefits such as reduced inflammation improved blood sugar control and lower risk of colon cancer yes they say when you combine super sugary fruits with something with a little more fiber in it it can slow down that glucose spike. But she's saying just eat pineapple by itself. And I guess just eat spinach by itself. I don't know. Let me keep reading. Um, there's also evidence-based examples of food combining. Now she's saying just eat one thing at a time. I don't know if she's over there mono-mealing it all the time. But some things like citrus and iron go well together. Vitamin C enhances iron absorption. So eating your spinach with something that has vitamin C could boost the amount of iron that you get. With a little tiny bit you're going to get out of that spinach. So you won't look all anemic with a colorless lips and ashy dull skin well if you're vegan you're gonna get that anyway but not as bad <laughs> if you combine your vitamin c with your iron foods but she's saying don't even do that adding vitamin c is one of the most effective ways to increase iron absorption yeah that's what it says on healthline.com carrots and fat yeah some foods you want to get your beta carotene you want to get your um imaginary vitamin d you're going to need fat in your diet Okay. Certain nutrients such as fat soluble vitamins and carotenoids need fat in order to be absorbed by the body. Carotenoids are compounds found in red, orange, and dark green vegetables including carrots, tomatoes, bell peppers, spinach, and broccoli. Studies show that carotenoid rich diets may reduce the risk of some health conditions. Um, but research has, so, has shown that if you consume these vegetables without any fat, and, you know, a lot of vegetables, they don't really have fat in them. But she's saying you can only process one thing at a time. So she's saying, basically, don't eat your vegetables with any fat. Don't eat anything with anything else. Anyway, if you consume these vegetables without any fat, eating plain carrot sticks or salad with fat-free dressing, for instance, you may be missing out on the benefits. Also, spinach and dairy products. Hmm. Foods such as spinach, chocolate, and tea contain oxalate and anti-nutrient, which can bind with calcium to form an, form an insoluble compound so that's why they're saying you want to consume calcium rich foods along with your oxalate rich foods but you know this lady she i think she makes these videos for shock factor and to there's some of these vegans y'all they get so big that they wouldn't just they just keep moving the goalposts like people were saying in the comments about freely they, there's always something that you can't do always something that's wrong that you've been doing oh i'm gonna go vegan i'm gonna make a spinach and banana smoothie 
and pineapple smoothie because if I just mix spinach and pineapple I feel like my blood sugar is spiking but if I add some greens in it it, it feels like it holds me over a little long. oh you can't even do that anymore that's what people write in these comments dang we can't do anything anymore we can't eat anything anymore this woman she's got such willpower and such strength you look up to her like she's some super powerful you know strong woman for eating the most perfect diet ever and telling you what dropping quote unquote dropping gems and telling you how to restrict more and more this lady i believe she's eating chick-fil-a um she needs red meat instead of sneaking chick-fil-a because she needs some iron obviously looking at her but that's all we all did it wrong because we had fruits and greens together in a smoothie